The all-new Adobe Captivate, released in 2023 by Adobe, features some familiar things if you're a veteran developer, such as slides. But this new version, first of all, the interface is a lot cleaner, less confusing than Captivate Classic. But this new Captivate features infinite slides. So yes, over on the left side of the screen, you can add slides to what used to be called the film strip. But what Adobe has done here is added blocks. Now these blocks are going to make it quick for you to create your slides, but at the cost of flexibility, you pretty much are going to have to go with the designs set up by Adobe's designers. You can't just move things anywhere you want on the slide like you could in the classic version. The other thing that's different about these slides is that they're infinite in height. And let me show you what I mean. I'll come over here to my text blocks tool and I'll add a paragraph block. And you see that the block is added. Now, I can't just put this block anywhere I want on the slide. If I try, it bounces back up to the top of the slide. You see that? I'm going to go ahead and add another block. And this time I'll do an image grid. That'll get added beneath my first object. Now, can move these objects up and down and position them. You just got to drag and drop. And you see now my images are above my text. I'm going to add another block. I'll make it a image grid again. You see where the new grid goes. And I'll take this block and move it between the two grids. What's interesting about this, if I keep adding blocks to my slide, you see the slide's just getting taller. Let me add another block here. This time I'll do two characters. So these blocks can be changed from their design. You see that Captivate includes some design options and I can click and change the way the design looks. But you see there's not an infinite amount of formatting you can do. You can add or remove components, like I'll turn off Speech Bubble 2 here. And you see that that's going to turn off one of the bubbles. I'll turn it back on. So there is some formatting, which I'll cover in subsequent videos. For now, I just wanted to show you about these infinite slides. So I'm going to come up top here. There's a preview tool, three of them. One for my desktop, one for my tablet, and one for my portrait. Notice that as I scroll, Again, the vertical height of these slides is never going to end. And if I switch to my, let's go to my phone, or portrait mode for mobile. And you see that everything is responsive. It does reflow. And my user would just have to scroll through their mobile device. And I'm thinking about a phone here in this instance to see the content. So you could, in theory, just like Articulate Rise, put everything basically on what would be one never-ending slide. Or with this Captivate version, you can add more slides. I'll click this plus sign to make a new blank slide. And work in the traditional way that you did in Captivate Classic, where you add as many slides as you need. Now, it's going to take some forward thinking to make a determination. Are you going to work with an infinite slide, multiple slides, or a combination of the two? And I kind of see this going as you're going to do a combination of the two.